We discovered that in order to go viral in China, it's important to challenge the cultural norms and expectations. So around 2010, we decided to create a health campaign. And we were thinking about it for many, many months because we were of the opinion that a lot of people suffer from poor health, but it's totally preventable. So Touch Media and the whole team figured out, let's use the in-taxi video screens as the delivery vehicle for urban white collar professionals in China's top tier cities. And um, the challenge though was how do you mobilize Chinese who don't grow up with exercise? And so we came up with this idea to, to do exercise videos. Now the way that that came about was actually I was on holidays in Sharm El Sheikh in 2010. And I had just read Timothy Ferris's book, Four Hour Work Week. And so two, three months later, it, it kind of popped in my head. Four hour work week, four hour work week. What can we do that's really short and simple? 45 second workout, bang, there it was, in taxi workouts. So the team and I decided, it, they have to be simple. They have to be really short and they have to be really fun because it's going to be for an in-taxi audience. We want people to be not intimidated and follow along. So we strategized, let's make them a little bit wacky, copy the 1980s fitness craze from North America and do these videos. So they were actually professionally designed, but we didn't expect that there would be such a cultural clash. So we had actually challenged the norms because the woman we used, who's actually me in real life, um, but she's dressed quite crazy, the woman we used actually has quite defined muscles, a six-pack ab kind of thing. And Chinese women don't have six-pack abs. And not only that, I was dressed like a eight-year-old with pigtails, bright lipstick and you know flower headband and all of that. And women my age don't dress that way. And then we also had a male actor who was very effeminate because people felt the female was too male. And so the, math, the male was too feminine. And then we also introduced a third character who was neither male nor female. And people couldn't tell because he looked female until he talked and he was male. So in that sense, we really challenged the norms and what people were expecting. Um, beyond that, because it was a health message, people are used to hearing from the government, public service message. It's very serious and it's very traditional. We completely turned that on its head. So we had actors who completely made fun of themselves. They looked ridiculous, they act ridiculous. They were dressed in very flamboyant colors. They had wacky hair and they had a very serious message of health. So in that sense, it was quite fun. And um, I think the other thing about the video is our parents and our managers would never do something like that. It had to be fun because if you think about social media and who it's targeting, who engages with social media, it's the people who have time and the people who want to make friends and sort of make sense of the world. So the video actually appealed to a wide range of people, but the ones who fed the social media were probably the 16 year olds all the way up to the 30 something year olds. And that fueled, sort of fueled the interest in this taxi. At one point, there was so much buzz that people started taking taxis just to see the video. And then some people actually claimed that they extended their taxi ride to see the video again, which is, it's quite bizarre. Um, so at that stage, we realized we had a viral video on our hands. And then we started reacting. Based on the micro blogs, some people thought that the actress was scary looking, ugly. Um, they couldn't tell if it was man or woman. So we fixed it. We put a bag over her head in the opening billboard and then we kept running the ads. So the people who were offended by the way she looked, we covered her face. But the people who needed the exercises, we kept running the ads. And so we actually played with what was happening in the social media, which made people stay interested for a period of three months. And so as we aired and uploaded the second one and the third one, people started looking forward to it. Oh, there's a male version. Oh, there's three of them. Oh, you know, so they, they kept, oh, there's another. It's even more ridiculous. It's even more crazy. It's, it's making fun. So in that sense, that's why it went viral and why it sustained 1.5 million views on top of 170 million in taxi passenger views. So that was this completely unexpected result.